Are you having trouble finding a drilling partner? Just waiting for it to get spun up. You need the A11N Pickleball Launcher. So I'm always looking to improve my pickleball skills. And when I saw that A11N had a new affordable pickleball launcher, I reached out to them and asked them if they would send me one to review. Sure enough, they did. So they sent me this launcher in exchange for this review. They have not seen this review and my opinion is completely my own. Now you might be wondering, why would you want a pickleball launcher? Well, what's great about them is you can set them up on the court and you can drill with them. So you can go over your third shot drops, you can go over volleys from the kitchen line, return of serve, various different skills that you need to do over and over again. And a pickleball launcher is a tool that you can use to do that. So unboxing and assembly of the A11N Pickleball Launcher was easy. I joke about tossing out instructions in a lot of my unboxing videos, but I really do read them. And A11N's simple instructions help me get the launcher up and running quickly. The A11N Pickleball Launcher holds 19 pickleballs, not included. It features multiple spin and elevation options that can launch a ball anywhere from 17 to 33 feet. It can be powered three ways with an AC adapter, four D cell batteries, or they have an adapter that you can use with a power bank. As long as that power bank can put out, I think 2.4 amps, then you're good to go. So I just wanted to show you kind of close up here, the A11 pickleball launcher and some of the buttons and how to configure it. I've got the ball feeder removed, so it makes it a little bit easier. First off, um, here is the power bank adapter. So I've just got this anchor power bank adapter and I plug it in here. It powers on and then I just plug it right in there and then I can turn the launcher on. Alternately, if you're in a place that has power, you can use this AC adapter. You're probably gonna need an extension cord, but that just, again, plugs in there, plugs into your power source. I've got one back here, and it just switches right on. Now this red light indicates that there's no ball ready to come out. You've got a low and a high speed switch on either side of the launcher. So what you can do is you can either set them both to low, you can set them both to high, and if you set one to high and one to low, the ball will curve towards the low side. So right now I've got this side set to low and this side set to high because the ball is gonna to curve towards the low speed side, it's gonna curve in this, in this direction. Additionally, you can adjust the spinners here. These adjust in different locations, up and down, so now it's gonna to provide top spin. And if you adjust them up, it's gonna provide some back spin. And you can even alter them and set them opposite to make different trajectories of the ball. You'll have to play around with those settings just to kind of find out where you want that to go. You can also adjust the angle of the launch. This pulls out and you can adjust this in four different positions. Remember that however, whatever angle this is going to launch at is going to determine where it's going to go over the net. So you're going to have to experiment with that. Finally, on the back here, we have the switch for the swivel base. Now this does not turn on unless the ball launcher is on. So you have to turn the ball launcher on and then the base will swivel either at a low speed or at a higher speed. Now no pickleball launcher is perfect. And I did find a few things about the A11N pickleball launcher that could use a little improvement. First, sometimes a ball wouldn't launch properly causing two balls to launch at the same time. Second, it does take some trial and error to dial in the settings. I recommend having a notebook or note-taking app handy. And third, because it only holds 19 balls, you get somewhere around 90 seconds of drill time before you have to start walking around 
the court and picking up pickleballs. So I definitely recommend that you get some kind of pickleball caddy as well. Overall, the A11N pickleball launcher is a great value. It's an affordable way for you to drill skills when you don't have a partner around to drill with you or if you can't find a partner that's interested in drilling. It's lightweight and portable, so getting it to the court isn't a chore. And the multiple configuration options give you enough variety to keep you on your toes and drill multiple skills from third shot drops to practicing your hand speed at the kitchen line. So let's go over some of the drills that I used the A11N pickleball launcher for. The first one is simply practicing my third shot drops. I set the launcher up so that it would fire the ball at me and it would be similar to a deep return after a serve. And then I can practice dropping my shots into the kitchen. The second drill is what I call a fourth shot dink. So I set the launcher up so that it's dropping the ball into the kitchen. And then I'm going to take that third shot drop that would have come from my opponent. And I'm going to dink the ball into the kitchen over the net. And then the third drill is volleying from the kitchen line. I set the launcher up so that it's firing the balls about chest height. And then from there, I just volley the balls down either into the kitchen or straight ahead of me or at whatever angle. So there are three things I really like about the A11N pickleball launcher. The first is that it's affordable. I think it's priced right now at around $150. And usually there's some kind of coupon or deal that A11N has. I think there's a 20% off coupon right now if you go purchase it on Amazon. There's a link in the description below for that. And having something that's affordable, if you can't afford one of those $1,000 pickleball robots, um, this is something that nearly anyone can afford. The second thing that I really like is the power options. Most launchers in this price range only give you the option of either running off the D batteries or running off of an AC adapter. But this gives you that option with that adapter for the power bank. So it makes it portable. And if you don't have rechargeable D batteries, this is gonna save you a ton of money and time. The third thing is that it's easy to use. I didn't have any problem setting it up and getting it going. I think it took me like 20 minutes total between all the setup assembly and having it out on the court and hitting balls. And just as a bonus, number four, and this kind of ties into its, its value, is it includes a swivel base. Now, I haven't found very many pickleball launchers that include a swivel base at this price. So that's the A11N pickleball launcher. You can pick it up today at Amazon or A11N's website. I think it's a great value. I'm going to be using it quite a bit, I'm sure, over the winter here, either to test paddles or to drill skills with. I'm John Eugenics Grandpa. Thanks for watching.